Hello, my name is Matthew Marvin, aka The Poker Gypsy. Welcome to my poker vlog, where I tell you what it's like to travel and play poker in locations all across the globe. I will be rating the locations one through seven based on how many days a week you can play professionally there. I will also be giving you a meter. The meter represents whether or not I feel that the field was soft or difficult. Now, everything you see is coming straight from the camera phone. I want to bring a new meaning to reality TV. All right, everybody, how y'all doing? I do apologize for the background noise. I'm in a semi truck. There are trucks next to me idling. Nothing I can do about it. Gotta get these vlogs in, or else it won't get done. All right, guys, welcome to the Utah vlog. Now, one thing that you need to know is Utah has the highest Mormon population in the whole United States. Almost 70% of the state is Mormon. Nothing wrong with that, but if you're in Utah, and looking to play some poker you may be disappointed there is a bar league in utah i will even go as far to say that there is a nice sized poker community in utah i've been to that bar league and i've gotten to see a little small glimpse of that poker community it's a very tight group so if home games did exist there you'd have to be part of that really really tight knit group or else you're probably not going to get an invite as far as the bar league goes well, I'm not going to talk you to death about it, but you can watch the video that I made for you based off of my experience when I went there. I will also leave the video link in the description below. So that's why I'm not getting invited to the home games there. And honestly, I'm not losing no sleep over it. I played enough poker at enough locations to understand that poker there probably isn't going to be too great or diverse. You're probably going to end up playing the same people in different private locations over and over and over again. Luckily, there is hope, but not too much. Let's look at Utah on the map. If you lived in Utah and wanted to travel for some poker, you really only got one direction to go. That's towards Nevada. If you live down south, you can go to Vegas. If you live up north, you can go to West Windover, Nevada. And that's the spot I'm going to be showing you guys today.
Nowadays, people tend to look over the real art of DJing. 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 It's been a cold winter, I'ma switch it for the summer. I ain't talking, but still, suckers run for cover. I mean the sunshine, cause I know I got mine. Pimping is a short thing, buried in my bloodline. It's been a cold time all around the way. I put it down, coming straight from the underground. Now, what you want now? I do it for the masses, I never blew my chances. My style is classic, static, you want the heat, I got it. I do it all Bear with me, but I prepare. Really, they can step to me. My rap is medicine. You don't wanna F with me. I'm always fresh with it. On my best weekly, you ain't stressing me. They said too hard, I'm moving straight to the top. Coming with the pull up for the number one spot. Pushing my rap like a push out on the block. Holding my ground, sucker rappers get lost. I told you once, now you Nowadays, people tend to look over the real art of DJing. 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 So when I visited West Wendover, Nevada during the pandemic, there were only two poker rooms open, but you could play seven days a week. There was enough action to go around.
but this is mostly a town for slots and other table games, other than poker. I personally enjoyed my time there, and I highly recommend you check it out. If you're coming from up north, be sure to check out Cactus Pete's. Make sure you call first and verify that their poker room is open. It's located in Jackpot, Nevada. Yes, they do have slot machines and blackjack. Now, even if you aren't in the casinos, why should you visit West Wendover, Nevada? Well, between October 1944 and August 1945, they did atomic bomb testing at the airfield. There's a nice museum there that you should definitely visit. But if you look it up online, the city is actually called Wendover, Utah. Hmm, but if the casinos were in Utah, then they would actually be illegal. I'll let you guys figure that one out.